Uh, is anyone a fan of long distance relationships? No? Maybe some of you know this, but I'm in a long distance relationship myself. My girlfriend is across the country on the East Coast. I'm over here on the West Coast. So you might be wondering, oh, Randall, how do you maintain a long distance relationship? What's your secret? <laughs> well, dear viewer, if you must know, it takes devotion, prayer, and carrier owls, like Harry Potter. <laughs> no, seriously, having a long distance relationship is naturally really difficult. Do we feel lonely without consistent communication and quality time? Yes. And I guarantee you, we'd still feel that ache of loneliness even if we got to see each other every single day. Because we're human. Surprise. Even before I was in a relationship, I felt the pangs of loneliness too. <laughs> I just want to share my life with another human being. <laughs> Guys, the truth is, we have an epidemic of loneliness in our society today. We can feel this loneliness in any stage of life. Single, dating, married, popular or not popular. And whether we know it or not, we might be trying to numb that ache. Have you ever done the mindless scroll on your phones? Maybe mindless hours of video games or being occupied with work, surrounding ourselves with people, hooking up, getting wasted, drugs or pornography. We can be surrounded by hundreds of people and still feel lonely. What the heck? Or maybe you were like me, hoping a relationship would fix all your problems. <laughs> this is real people. Maybe some of us are hoping that that special someone is going to answer all of our deepest desires. And as we've heard many times before, that simply isn't true. But I mean, how hard is it to believe this when our culture makes relationships so emotionally charged? Obviously, I don't know all of your stories, but I do know this, that deep down, there is a longing for intimacy, to be seen, to be known, acknowledged, and loved. This is such a good and human desire. But when unfulfilled, loneliness creeps in like, hey, what's up? I'm still here. The more we avoid being alone, the more lonely we'll feel. That's fact. So Randall, what do we do? You learn to be alone. The answer to our loneliness isn't in filling our hearts and our minds with more stuff. It's in learning to be alone by having a healthy detachment from the things that stimulate and occupy us. We have to learn to embrace our loneliness. One really effective way to do this is by implementing silence into our lives, into the ordinary aspects of our lives, the mundane and the routines. I'm not saying we have to get rid of music and technology, but maybe having a healthy step back will help us reorient where we place our priorities. No amount of relationships, pleasures, or things will ever satisfy the deepest longings in our hearts, and we'll never fully get rid of our loneliness but we have the choice as to whether or not our loneliness consumes us. Don't run from it, embrace it, and learn to live with it. Hey, it's your favorite Filipino, back at it. My name is Randall Tan, and I have a farmer's tan. I'm Randall Tan, deuces. My friends, Stay holy. Yo, thank you so much for watching. Click here to subscribe and here for more videos. We'll see y'all in the next one.